Welcome to An Unfinished Revolution, the Women's Suffrage Centennial. My name is Kathy Crogwell Varda. I'm the curator of this exhibit. In museums, we use objects to tell stories and connect with our visitors. Today, I would like to share the stories behind one of the objects on display, the pick a pin. Of all the objects in the exhibit, this item conveys more stories about the suffrage movement than most. This pick a pin was one of many distributed by the National Women's Party to women who had been arrested for protesting outside the White House on behalf of suffrage. These small silver pins are only about one and a half inches long and were intended to be worn on a woman's lapel or shirt front. The pin itself is shaped like the protest banners women carried and is inscribed with the phrase, without extinction is liberty. You can see a pair of shackles are visible at the top of the pin. This particular pin belonged to Alice Paul, founder of the National Women's Party. Paul was a brilliant strategist who advocated for civil disobedience in order to draw attention to the fight for women's voting rights. She orchestrated the nonviolent picketing at the White House, the very first formal protest ever held outside the president's residence. This photo shows what the picketers of the White House experienced. Despite their peaceful and silent protests, the women were attacked by mobs and the police before they were arrested and thrown in an abandoned jail. Fourteen suffragists from Connecticut, including Helena Hill Weed of Norwalk, were arrested for protesting. They were imprisoned in the Occoquan Workhouse, a jail that had been abandoned due to its atrocious conditions. While there, the women were beaten by the guards, and those like Paul, who went on a hunger strike, were force-fed. Since the suffragists conducted silent protests, it was the phrases on their banners and their presence outside the White House in general that generated outrage. The body of the pin mirrors the banners carried by the suffragists. One of these banners reading, Mr. President, what will you do for women's suffrage, was carried by a Connecticut woman and can be seen in our exhibition. The phrase engraved on the pin, without extinction is liberty, were said to be the last words spoken by activist, lawyer, and suffragist Inez Mulholland, who died in 1916 while campaigning for women's suffrage, becoming a martyr for the cause. Mulholland is seen here dressed like Joan of Arc and leading the suffrage parade in Washington, D.C. The phrase is an extract from a poem by Walt Whitman titled, By Blue Ontario's Shore, published in the famous anthology Leaves of Grass. The full stanza reads, Without extinction is liberty, without retrograde is equality. They live in the feelings of young men and the best women. Not for nothing have the indomitable heads of the earth been always ready to fall for liberty. Whitman's words were often used by suffragists, especially those who held Milholland as a symbol for the sacrifices women made to secure voting rights for all. The picket pin may seem to be a small token, but its message is powerful and still relevant today. <laughs>